are piles of paper taking over your home, causing you stress and ruining your minimal aesthetic? If the answer is yes, then you've definitely clicked on the right video. Hi everyone, it's Nikki here from the top three and in today's video we're tackling a common problem that many of us face, paper clutter. It can be overwhelming to see stacks of mail, bills and other documents piling up on our desks, kitchen counters and other surfaces. But don't worry, because in this video I'll be sharing three simple and effective ways to reduce paper clutter and achieve a more minimal and organised home. So grab a pen and paper and let's get started. Tip number one, minimise what comes in in the first place. By minimising the amount of paperwork that enters your home in the first instance, you can effectively reduce paper clutter before it has the opportunity to accumulate. You can do this by registering to opt out of junk mail by using the mailing preference service. You could put a sign on your front door or mailbox discouraging junk mail. You could opt to go paperless with your bills by choosing electronic billing options offered by your providers. Some may even offer discounts as an added benefit. You could choose to use email as a form of communication instead of postal mail. And you could also opt out of postal mail communication when signing up for mailing lists with companies. Tip number two, learn what you need to keep and how long you need to keep it for. So how long do you need to keep paperwork at home? Remember that this can be country specific, so you may need to do a little bit of your own research. But let's start with utility bills. Assuming that you're still receiving paper bills, then keeping them for a maximum of one year is a good rule of thumb. These can help you deal with any problems and also use them as a comparison when looking for new deals. When it comes to bank statements, keep those for one year. That will enable you to review any purchases or correct any errors. With receipts, you should retain them until the return policy expires, which is usually around 30 days. And also to make sure that you're satisfied with the purchase. Keep them longer if the item is high priced with warranty. And when we're talking about big ticket items like your home or your car, then keep all of the related paperwork for as long as you own the item. When considering certifications and policies, it's a good idea to keep them until a new one replaces the previous one. And finally, tip number three, sort it, file it, shred it. So try to sort it as soon as it comes into the house. If you do get into a habit of sorting through any paperwork that does come into your home as soon as it arrives, then you'll really start to see a reduction in your paper clutter. This way, you can quickly and efficiently dispose of any unwanted or unnecessary items before they have a chance to build up, and then you can file the important stuff. Try not to let your unnecessary pile grow too big. It may get mixed back into your sorted pile. I know this, it's happened to me. A shredder can be a great tool here. You can get hand crank shredders and small electric home shredders. I'll leave some links in the description. So let's talk about filing. Establish a filing system that works for you. Have a designated place for all of your important documents. You can either use a physical filing cabinet or system of file boxes, or you could go digital with a scanning app. By opting for a simple and minimal filing system, you'll be able to keep your important documents organised and easily accessible, and you'll be able to keep your space less cluttered. The key is to have a system that not only works for you, but is also easy to maintain. If there are multiple people in your household, you could designate an in-tray or pigeonhole for each person to help keep paperwork organised. I'll put some more links to organisers in the description. If a bill arrives that needs to be paid, have a specific tray or file for that and set a reminder on your phone. You may be someone who sets out a certain time each week to do home admin or hadmin as I like to call it. It's a fantastic habit to have. You could also put an annual appointment in your calendar to go through your files and get rid of out of date paperwork and stuff that you no longer need to keep. I like to include it as part of my spring cleaning schedule. By following these three tips, you can quickly and easily reduce paper clutter in your home and office. It only takes a little bit of effort every day to help you maintain a clutter-free and organised environment, giving you more time and peace of mind. And that's it for today. So as always, thank you so much for watching. If you have found value in this content, then please consider clicking the like button, sharing with someone else who would enjoy this video, leaving a comment and subscribing to the channel for more interesting top threes in the future. Bye for now. And one last thing, 
I was going to tell you a joke about paper, but it's terrible. Have a great day, everyone.